Have you ever heard about colon cancer in your daily life? Welcome to your channel, ADP for Learning. Today, we will delve deep into the topic of colon cancer, addressing various questions that might cross your mind, such as, what is colon cancer? How do people develop colon cancer? What are the symptoms of colon cancer? How do doctors diagnose colon cancer? How is colon cancer treated? Without further delay, let's begin our learning journey with the first question, what is colon cancer? Normally, cells grow and divide just enough to either grow or replace damaged tissue. However, at times, the mechanisms regulating cell growth malfunction, leading to uncontrolled cell division, a condition known as cancer. When this happens in the cells lining the colon, the first part of the large intestine, it's referred to as colon cancer. Individuals with a family history of colon cancer face a higher risk of developing the disease, particularly if a relative was diagnosed before the age of 50. Those in such families are considered high risk due to the possible inheritance of two rare genetic conditions, familial adenomatous polyposis, FAP, and hereditary non-polyposis cologne cancer, HNPCC. FAP results from mutations in the APC, adenomatous polyposis coli, gene on chromosome 5, which functions as a tumor suppressor gene controlling cell growth. People inheriting a mutated APC gene develop growths called polyps in their colon. If left untreated, these polyps can progress into colon cancer. HNBCC, also known as Lynch syndrome, is caused by mutations in genes responsible for repairing damaged DNA. Individuals inheriting these mutations are at a significantly higher risk of accumulating mutations leading to uncontrolled cell growth and cancer. HNPCC not only elevates the risk of colon cancer but also other types, including ovarian, stomach, brain, and liver. This information leads to another crucial question, how do people develop colon cancer? Both FAP and HNPCC follow an autosomal dominant inheritance pattern. If a parent has FAP or HNPCC, their children have a 50% chance of inheriting the mutated gene. However, inheriting a defective gene does not guarantee the development of malignant cancer. In the case of the APC gene, inheriting one faulty copy practically ensures colon cancer by age 40. Similarly, individuals inheriting one faulty gene associated with HNPCC have an 80% chance of developing colon cancer, as well as an increased risk of other cancer types. This raises another related question, what are the symptoms of colon cancer? Cologne cancer can affect the stomach and bowels, leading to common symptoms such as diarrhea or constipation, blood in the stool, vomiting, bloating, cramps, and unexplained weight loss. Now, let's explore how doctors diagnose colon cancer. Even before patients show symptoms, doctors can screen for the disease using several tests. Fecal occult blood test, FOBT, checks for traces of blood in the stool, which can be caused by colon cancer. Flexible sigmoidoscopy involves using a flexible tube to inspect the colon for polyps. Double contrast barium enema, DCBA, outlines the colon using a metallic substance for x-ray examination. Colonoscopy uses a thin instrument called a colonoscope to examine the colon, allowing doctors to take tissue samples, biopsies, for cancer testing and remove polyps. A newer method, virtual colonoscopy, uses MRI or CT scans to examine the colon without invasive procedures. DNA-based stool tests examine DNA from a patient's stool sample to identify genetic defects associated with colon cancer. Finally, a critical question arises. How is colon cancer treated? Cologne cancer is highly treatable, with approximately 90% of patients surviving after treatment. Doctors first determine the cancer stage to assess its progression. If the cancer hasn't spread to other tissues, treatment options include chemotherapy, radiation therapy, or surgery to remove polyps and cancerous portions of the colon. It's important to note that people with FAP can develop hundreds or even thousands of polyps while those with HNPCC typically develop fewer. The transition from benign to malignant cancer typically involves multiple mutations that give cells new and abnormal characteristics, such as increased growth rates, impaired cell adhesion, and a tendency to migrate to other parts of the body. Usually, at least seven mutations are necessary to develop a malignant colon tumor. 
Inherited cancers often provide insights into the genes mutated in sporadic cancers. For instance, mutations in the APC gene are found not only in FAP tumors but also in 85% of all sporadic colon tumors. Thank you for joining us on this exciting learning journey. We look forward to exploring more innovative topics. In the meantime, if you have feedback, please feel free to comment below.